We continue with our keyboard exercise with the third example. So in this one, we try to have multiple videos. So in this case, we define, for example, like three or four keyboard keys that switch among different videos and also a blank screen. So again, we close the palette window remove everything except the output window and also parameter window and we create a new project folder with the name in this exercise will be keyboard 003 and we rename it and also create the movie folder okay in the movies folder we are going to copy this free video over here and then we can drag each one of them to the touch designer project and thus create three movie file in objects so this is the movie one two and three and so the result of this one is if i press for example one key like the keyboard number one i saw a blank screen and then if i press two i saw the first video press three the second one press four the last one so this is the objective of this particular exercise and before we can start we can also create a blank screen so blank screen is usually a constant and then we choose constant from the top by default it is a square of white color and if you would like to have a black blank screen we can just choose from the color picker to select black and at the same time we can also choose the dimension of this black screen to the same size of the video and the video I've used here is 1280 by 720 so I choose the custom resolution with the proper resolution here okay so we now have four options one two three and four in order to choose among these four images so in touch designer in top we make use of a function called switch yes this one and the order of the input as actually count so for example the first one we insert to the input here first and then the second one the third one and also the last one if we take a look of the parameter of the switch and there's one called index so the default one is index 0 you can try to put for example by 1 when you put 1 it switch to the second video that is the first video but the second display and then for 2 it goes to the second video and for 3 it goes to the last video so what we are going to do is to find a way to supply the numbers 0, 1, 2 and 3 to the index here such that we can switch among this displays between or among the blank screen and the free video in the end it will go to the output window and similar to all previous project we go to the perform window and then change the opening size to fill the screen and turn off the borders
Okay, so we're going to reset the index back to zero first. Okay, and again we're also going to use the keyboard in chop over here, which is somewhere around here, and. Similar to the last exercise, we will send this one to a null chop just in case we may need to insert something over here. In the keyboard in, what we are going to do is we are going to assign four keys starting from one. Like the first key one, we are going to have a blank screen and then we have two for the first video, three for the second one, four for the last one. And in this case, we need to change the number of key to four. And we can also have a look of another parameter over here. But for the numeric keys, it does not matter too much. But for alphabetical order, you can choose from here. For the original order is the Q W E R T Y. That is the keyboard layout order. But you can also choose for alphabetical order. That makes sure you have the A B C D in this order. Okay. So now we have a keyboard control of four number. So you can have a look right here. One. Two, three, four, and the one we're going to use is we would like to only pick up one of the number, and if you use this option with the four keys, actually you have all of them showing up simultaneously. You have the K1, K2, K3, and K4. And how we can consolidate and just to find out one, we are going to use something again from the logic. So we insert the operator from logic. Since we cannot press two key to choose the video or two or more video at the same time. So in this type of button, usually in graphical user interface, we refer as radio buttons. So in logic, actually, in a same location, we work with toggle. We can choose from the channel P up with something called radio button, and then you can have a look. As something like this, when you press one, it go to one, two, go to two, three, go to three, four, go to four, and you don't have multiple key selection. If you press two of the key simultaneously from the keyboard in, you see two of them are highlighted, but in logic, actually only the last one is highlighted. So this is the reason we add the radio button selection for this. And we haven't solved the greatest problem at all at this moment because we still have the one, two, three, four over here. And in order to eliminate or try to consolidate the four of them into one single number, again we are going to insert another chops from here. And in this case we're going to insert something called fan. Fan is a way for you to multiply your input into a number of them or you can consolidate multiple input into one. So in this case we have one, two, three, four and we would like to consolidate them into one. So the command will be fan in instead of fan out. The default one fan out actually will 
will, will increase the number of output so we're going to choose fan in at this moment once we choose the fan in and all of the output the, the four of them will consolidate into one with the behavior like this for example we can try by pressing one it will give you zero two it give you one and then three it give you two four it give you three if you press something else there's nothing happen okay so now we have single number which go from the range of zero one two three so which is exactly what we want to have in the index of the switch operation so we follow the same step again we go to the now chop turn on the we were active and then drag this one and then drop it into the index one index box and select the export chop once we select the export chop the current number will assign to the index and if you would like to test you can simply press your keyboard one two three four and then it will show you the corresponding videos or the blank screen again you can go to the perform mode to test with the full screen displays one blank screen two the first video three the second one four the last one and then escape go back to the edit mode so now we conclude this exercise as a way of using keyboard as a switcher among three to four images that you want to show to your audience.